My name is Seymour Quast, and I'm working with one of George Lois's famous quotes. Uh, research is the enemy of creativity. And I've been working on, on that, and I hope the uh, poster comes out well. I don't know George very well, uh, except I've always hated him. Yeah, George, uh, well, George Lois was always my enemy. He lost a job for me. I was working in a uh, uh, in a small studio run by a woman, Reba Socius. Um, and I took his place because he was drafted to the army. Uh, to, this was during the, the Korean War. And I took his place, and my work was not as good as his. And Reba just complained every day until she said, okay, let's forget about this. We can't do it. You're fired. So I've never had any great feeling for uh, for George <laughs> here. Of course, Herbal Valen also fired me, but because I couldn't do comp lettering there. But that's another story. I recently read that. Yes. Otherwise, I've uh, through the years I've watched George's work, um, and of course I I loved the covers that I did for he did for Esquire, and it, and I'm sure. Uh, he feels terrible about what's happened to covers of of magazines. You know, there used to be a, a great area. They were larger in, in those days, and uh, it was it was a great place, just like record covers. Right? They were twelve inches, twelve by twelve. They were great uh, canvases for doing terrific design, and uh, they no longer exist. Uh, so we're happy to have. To have uh, George's covers, I guess they were very important to the history of graphic design. But uh, the, you know, the big idea, which right. is what George talks about all the time, that's important oh, sure. to to all of us, right? That there's like what we call uh, what I call the, the concept mm -hmm. in uh, in illustration, mm -hmm. um, and that's what we look for. And when we find it and it works, we are. Very happy. Mm -hmm. well, one of the things that really fascinates me about your work is that I think you uh, brought a very new voice into the whole conversation uh, in the middle of an era of the Bob Peaks and mm -hmm. these wonderful uh, illustrators who were basically uh, playing off you know, the old Howard Pyle and C. Wyeth. Right. Or, yeah. Uh, what, what was it called? The uh, the Westport School of Yeah, the famous artist design. School. The famous oh, artist God, school. Yes. Mm. A lot of that represented sort of when in the, in the fifties uh, we knew that uh, it had a change. Norman Rockwell, as you say, was was the enemy. Uh, the Saturday Evening Post artists. All right. They were. They had it. Mm. Uh, Bob Weaver came in and a few others doing great, great stuff. Mm. And things became conceptual. Right. Right. Very sort of expressionistic sometimes. Um, but they had ideas and they, they, they tended to be graphic. Mm. Uh, but that was happening at the times when the, the magazines were going away. The Saturday Evening Post was, um, was going under. Um, the rise I worked the on the, the last, doing an illustration for the last issue of Collier's magazine. Oh. Um, anyway, uh, illustration did change. Uh, some of it reflected the sort of the graphic styles of the period, whether it was Art Nouveau or Art Deco or or whatever, um, and others were. Uh, were eclectic, mm. which is what's happened, I guess, since the 50s. Mm. Things, things are all over the place. Right, right. And some of it is still great. What in the atmosphere uh, made you sort of take a turn towards something a lot more contemporary and revolutionary uh, in terms of your style of drawing? Wars do want? that. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can blame the yeah. World War II for that. Right. Right. Where things became much more realistic. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, there was no longer the idea of, the, of America being nirvana and you know, 
heaven for everybody. It was everybody had to work, still work hard. Mm. Um, and uh, just the Norman Rockwell view of America didn't exist. Mm. But then in the end, when uh, when he, he was able to uh, reflect on uh, the civil rights movement mm -hmm. with a, a terrific painting here mm -hmm. that, that he changed as well. Mm -hmm.